Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sherry and this is Gardening in the North. And today we are growing a gardener. So my niece Lila has that gardening passion. Uh, she wants to learn more and she wants to get her hands dirty. So my sister-in-law Vicki suggested that for her birthday I give her a small little garden bed or container or something filled with you know some dirt and some plants so that she can learn how to take care of them how to harvest them and so on and so I thought about it and her birthday was back in September which really wasn't a good month for us we were kind of in between homes and I shouldn't say kind of we were in between homes we were living in a trailer in my sister's driveway so basically homeless um, so September wasn't a good time for me. So what I did is I gave her a certificate for her birthday that said I would give her a gardening bed filled and planted with plants for this gardening season. So I've been working really hard getting her bed ready, getting all the supplies I need together. And we, we meaning my mom and my dad and I, are going to be taking it to her house today. So not only do I want to give her a gardening bed and give her some tips and show her how to plant it and all the great things that go along with that, but I also want to give her the memory of doing gardening, you know, doing the act of planting out her first garden bed with her poppy. And so I think when we get to my brother's house and I start videoing us assembling the bed and planting out the plants, I'm really gonna let my dad lead the whole project because I think not only do I wanna give her the gardening experience, I wanna give her that experience with my dad, with her poppy, so that years from now she can watch this video and remember what a great day it was. So before I pack up the truck, I want to show you some of the supplies that I'm bringing to her house to get her started. Here we have some wood chips. We're going to lay down some cardboard in the area where we're going to put the bed. Then we're going to assemble the bed and layer the bottom of that bed with these wood chips. Then we're going to add the compost and all the fun stuff that go along with that. So over here, I have some plants ready for her. I have four different types of tomatoes. I have uh, some marigolds. I have some bell peppers, lots of good things there. Oh, I have two different kinds of calendula, which are gonna be so beautiful in the box. I have fertilizer down here. Oh, beside it, I have the two types of trellises. We're gonna put that metal trellis on the ends so that her cucumbers can grow on there. And then I got these little wood and bamboo ones for her tomatoes. Behind her bed, there is going to be a railing, but in order for the tomatoes to get to that railing, they're gonna need these bamboo trellises. So next to it is one of the ends of the bed. Now, I don't know if you will remember, but this wood is from that little house that was here on the property that my husband and I started removing the material from. So let's take a look inside the garage and get a better idea of what I've done. So this here is the actual bed. It is 10 feet long. And basically what we've done is we've taken two of the boards, we've put them together, and then to hold them together, we've put these um, pieces of wood to brace them. And so we've done that all along on both sides of them as well as on the ends. And so one of the things that we're gonna add to it once we start putting it together are some brackets. I have these little pieces and I'm not even sure what they're called, but this is actually used in houses to attach piping to uh, the framework in your house. And so I've found some of those I'm gonna use to put the trellises on the ends of the bed. I have some name tags for her. Of course, we need the drill, we need our screws. I have a cute little dowel for her and um, a pair of trimmers so that she can make sure that her tomatoes are pruned. And so I just want you to take a look at the front of the bed. 
So I've been working really hard on it. I wanted to make it really special for her. Um, it is freehand, so uh, please be kind. Um, so it says Lila's garden with a nice little sun around it. Um, in the garden, pull the weeds. Dig a hole, plant the seeds. Cover them up, water them too. Watch them grow in front of you. Make sure they sprout, get lots of sun. To grow a plant is tons of fun. Push hard, that a girl. Push hard, push hard. Okay. That, no, that's, that's good. It's good. You want to use my drill, a real drill? No, this is good. This is the best drill in the world. <laughs> Now you're gonna do the other one, but you gotta push hard, eh? Mm -hmm. You gotta push hard on it, right? Put all the, all your pressure on there. Fit it in. I'll help push. Oh, not that, not that much. <laughs> She's got muscles. Go ahead. Whoa, easy. And so in the background here, who do we have? <laughs> this is this is my mom Pat. Also known as Nanny, and this is Lila's mom, my sister-in-law, Vicky. <laughs> Welcome to the project, ladies. <laughs> That's good. That's good, girl. I'm going to let you do this one on your own. Keep it straight. And put pressure on it. a girl. Not too much, though. A little more. Perfect, perfect. This one down here now. Oh, I give my viewers a little eye candy. <laughs> this is my brother John. <laughs> oh, oh, Poppy wants to be the eye candy. <laughs> Way that you don't want on your tomatoes. So we're definitely going to no, do this. And that, one little that, tip that for you is no this is this flower is already out. Yeah, so when it dries up, up you're going to pop the head off and just leave it in the garden bed. And hopefully the seeds from that head drying up are going to grow more of these in your garden bed. Okay. So okay. like cut it off or just rip pop it off? it off with your like you're going to take it and just basically twist and pop it off. Okay. Okay. So the other thing I brought you was sugar snap peas. I love those. <laughs> so you're going to plant them on the sides there with your cucumbers. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be, oh, these are actually bush beans. I meant to grab these ones. These are the sugar snap peas. So these are green bush beans. So you can plant them wherever you want. Um, I would say probably in the front since you're going to have your tomatoes in the back. And the reason I would put your tomatoes in the back is because they need your railing to grow up on. Okay. Okay. So let's talk about what tomatoes I brought you. So this is a grape Juliet. So they are probably about this big, super productive. Like you're going to get so many on here. Okay. And they're okay. a little red tomato. This one here is yellow pear. So this one here is going to look like a mini pear, but it's yellow and super tasty. Um, 
let's see here. Tidy treats. So I, oh, look at this. <laughs> yeah, that one. There's already little tomatoes growing on them. So this one here I've never tried before. I also bought one for myself and planted it in my garden. I thought that this would be um, a really cool little tomato to try. And then the last one I got you is sweet gold. So these are orange. Oh, Johnny loves those. So you have orange, yellow, and red cherry tomatoes, okay? And let's see here. I got, I brought you four bell peppers. Do you like yellow peppers? Yes. So these are yellow peppers and we have pickling cucumbers. So I was going to get you the longer marketplace cucumbers and decided that I would get you the pickling ones because you can pick them when they're this big and just eat them like that. Even though it says pickling, because that's usually the size that you would pickle them. They're great for snacking. Mm -hmm. We love like baby cucumbers, so. So that's perfect then. Um, I brought you one of my little rosemaries that I grew, so maybe stick this in one of the corners and then your mom can use that for cooking. So I also brought you some calendula. Uh, so this one here is orange. I know it looks a little bit like a weed right now, but they grow into beautiful flowers. And this one here is pink surprise calendula. Okay, so. And then Nanny gave you this really pretty straw flower. So this one here is called a straw flower. It's a mohe series. So, oh, it's kind of sweet smelling. Hmm. Same thing for this one though. As the flowers start to die off, you want to pop their heads off and just leave them in the bed. Okay. Okay, so why don't you start putting your tomatoes out so you have four of them. So you're gonna space them out along the back. I'll probably put them Okay, so count them up just to make sure. Yeah, 10. Okay, so I think we should put, if you're okay with it, I think we should do maybe five or so here, maybe even six. And then we could put them, the, the four, just so I kind of put them throughout. So then it just kind of gives it more dimension. we're almost done very last step for Lila to do when she has a moment or she could do it now you're it's totally up to you but I brought markers for her so what she needs to do is get a black marker do you have one inside I like a sharpie? a sharpie perfect and then all the tags that I said we have to keep mm -hmm. you're gonna write that on here so you're gonna write the type of tomato so you would write yellow pear take that tag out Mm -hmm. and stick it in okay. so it'll look a lot nicer you'll be able to see them better um and so i got you 10 so you can do all of your your plants and you'll know what they are okay, okay. so what do you think do you like your garden i love your garden yeah so i'm excited i'm excited that you know we'll come back in the middle of the summer and see how you're doing and what you've harvest out of it mm -hmm. so 
if you start harvesting stuff before I can get back here, take some pictures, get your mom to send them to me, and then I can do an update on them as well. Okay. All right? Thank you so much for spending your time with us and helping me to grow a gardener. <laughs>